right, good morning everybody. Craig Fuller, Director of Marketing here at the Akwazasne Mohawk Casino Resort. This is week three of Fate or Follow Craig. Jumping right into week two, uh, it was a very interesting week for football in general. Uh, five teams remain, un un remain unbeaten. Uh, two teams that were thought that would have been one and one or 0 oh and two are now sitting at two and oh. Looking right at it, uh, first we got the Las Vegas Raiders. They are two and oh with a 26 to 17 beating over Pittsburgh. Vegas had control of this game right from the start. They never trailed in this game at all. Derek Carr threw for 382 yards and two touchdowns. Way to go, Vegas. I'm always happy to see Vegas win. Uh, second team that's a surprise to everybody is the Denver Broncos. They are also 2-0. They beat Jacksonville over the weekend, 23-13. Teddy Bridgewater, a return of Teddy Bridgewater. He went, from he went for 328 yards with two touchdowns. He's finally playing up to his potential. I see a lot of positive things there in Denver with Teddy Bridgewater. I was always a fan of Teddy Bridgewater in his short time in Minnesota, uh, so I expect good things from Teddy Bridgewater going forward. Uh, the Mile High City has lots to be happy about. Uh, they haven't been 2-0 since 2018. Uh, Cortland Sutton had nine catches for 115 yards, 159 yards. So way to go, Denver. Another team that we didn't think that was going to be at 2-0 is now sitting on top of at 2-0. Teams that we expected to be 2-0, uh, Tampa Bay, they just keep on rolling. Tom Brady, two games this season, 655 yards, nine touchdowns. That's amazing. Rob Gronkowski, uh, 12 catches, 129 yards, four TDs so far in two games. So way to go, Tampa Bay. They are playing up to their potential, 2-0, and they can just uh, probably expect them just to keep on rolling. San Francisco beat the Eagles this weekend, 17-11 to uh, go 2-0, scrappy. Team. They're finding ways to win. Their defense is hand keeping them in there. Uh, they're, they're doing what they can to stay up there, and they're doing enough to stay at 2-0. So another good job. We have a lot of San Fran fans in the area, so congratulations to them. And a team that I picked to win the Super Bowl, the LA Rams, they are at 2-0 with a 27-24 win over Indianapolis. Matthew Stafford had two touchdown throws on the game. Cooper Cup, I said he is a, a great football player. I said he's an amazing football player. He uh, had another couple touchdowns in this game. So expect more W's from the LA Rams as the season goes on. Uh, looking at teams that are 0-2, we'll flip the switch, go from 2-0 to 0-2, uh, Atlanta. We figured that uh, they would have a, a tough season this year, rebuilding season. They traded away some key guys in the offseason, so they are at 0-2. Uh, Detroit Lions, they have a new coach in town. He's got a lot of expectations if he's going to turn that team around. Uh, they showed some potential in the first half against Green Bay this week, but then fell apart in the second half. So Detroit 0-2 as well there too, a lot of help they need. Uh, New York Giants and the New York Jets, same old game playing when you, when you look at any New York team. Uh, the, the Jets have a starting uh, quarterback, Zach Wilson, who is a rookie. Uh, he threw for no touchdowns and four interceptions yesterday. You're not going to win any games with four interceptions out there. And typical New York Giants 0-2, just a tough season for the Giants. they got to start putting some things in order in order to get on the winning streak. Jacksonville Jaguars 0-2. Once again, they got a rookie quarterback in Trevor Lawrence. Uh, it's going to take some time for Trevor Lawrence to get to, to the NFL level, um, but he's given, they're giving him all the opportunity, opportunity, opportunity to have it. Uh, he threw for 118 yards and one touchdown yesterday, or I'm sorry, on Sunday. Uh, we knew there were going to be tough times, so it's going to take a while for them to get uh, on the W side there. And one that's surprising pick for me, the Minnesota Vikings. They are 0-2 as well. Uh, they were this close to winning on Sunday. Their kicker missed the field goal at the last play of the game. Uh, typical Vikings, if you are a Vikings fan, the typical Vikings coming down to kicking. They always have problems with kicking. But they've had two close games this season so far. Kirk Cousins is doing his part. Uh, he, he's actually playing very well, in my opinion, for the Vikings quarterback. It's just coming down to the special teams, and that's where they're losing it there in Minnesota. Some other games that are caught at interest this year, or I'm sorry, this week, Green Bay. They went from zeros to heroes, all right? Uh, they got spanked last week, and then this week they did the spanking. Aaron Rodgers threw for 255 yards, four touchdowns. Aaron Jones had four touchdowns, so they ran it and rebounded in a big way from getting spanked by New Orleans the week before. On the opposite side with that, the New Orleans Saints, they got pounded by... Uh, Carolina this weekend, 26 to 7. All right, Jameis Winston, who everybody talked about in the first week with five touchdowns, came back down to earth, came back down to reality. Uh, he had a very tough game. Another game that was interesting this week for all of our Buffalo Bills fans: the Bills won 35 nothing through a shutout over the Miami Dolphins. Way to go, Buffalo! 
Uh, the last NFL game I did go to was Buffalo, so I, I am a little bit of a Buffalo Bills fan there too. Josh Allen, 179 yards, two touchdowns. Bills dominated the rushing game. They had three rushing touchdowns in this game. Uh, Miami had no answer for the Bills this week. So 35 nothing. good job, Buffalo. Uh, and that's a recap of the games that we had this week. It's a million dollar pro football frenzy where you can win a share of $600 slot play weekly for the most winning picks. You can also win a share of $2,250 slot play for the most winning season long picks. Visit our website, mohawkcasino.com, to learn more about it. All right, last week and uh, going into week two, I said here were my picks for the week. I ended up going two for three. I took Cleveland and Houston. I took Houston getting 12 and a half points. They covered. I also took Minnesota, Arizona. Minnesota getting four and a half points. They covered. I, I did lose my Atlanta tap of Tampa Bay bet. I said Atlanta would uh, win with 12 and a half points, at least cover with 12 and a half points, and they didn't even come close. Tampa Bay uh, put a spanking on them in week two. So going into week three, here are my picks for week three. I'm taking Arizona, minus seven at Jacksonville. I'm taking Baltimore, minus nine at Detroit. And I'm also taking the LA Rams, minus one at Tampa Bay. Those are my picks for week three. All right, week two of Beat the Marketing Director is done. Uh, I had 10 right, so I moved up from my eight from week one. So I had 10 correct. You had to score 11 or higher to beat me. We had 69 individuals that picked 11 or more higher. So congratulations to the 69 individuals that have had 11 picks correct. Uh, you can come in when we open the doors on Wednesday. You'll have it from Wednesday to Friday at 11.59 to claim your slot play. So once again, congratulations to those 69 individuals that I had higher. Your slot play is automatically loaded to your account. You have to redeem it between Wednesday and Friday at 11.59. Uh, stay tuned, my picks will be posted later on in the day today. Uh, you can visit our website or take a look on our Facebook page, we'll have it on there. Beat the Marketing Director, I challenge you, come on in, try your luck, it's free.